Welcome to the Swiss Motor Court. The Swiss Motor Court is located in Spofford, New Hampshire, right across the street from Lake Spofford. Swiss Motor Court is notable for a couple of reasons um, in relation to as to why we have it on this YouTube channel is because the Swiss Motor Court is a series of abandoned bungalows. It looks like somebody was trying to save these as they could by putting tarps on the roofs so that the damaged roofs wouldn't uh, do additional damage when there's inclement weather, but it has been standing for a number of years. And if you look in here, you can see that the doors are open on a number of them and the weather has taken a toll on them regardless. This is Jack. Every single one of these bungalows, at least I think every single one of these bungalows, has a name on it. I don't know what the name means, but there's Jack, and that's Judy, uh, there's uh, Sleepy nearby. Now, I'm not going to go into any of these bungalows because, as you can see right there, that is a no trespassing sign. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go in there for that reason. But I've been trying to figure out who owns the property and what the overall story is. I did a little bit of online research a few years back to see if I could discover anything about it. The one thing I did note at the time that I did the research a few months back was that I found one single story about the owner in the 70s being arrested. And that's about all I could find on it. And this, that one's in the best condition of them all. Everything else more or less looks like this, where time has just destroyed it. The remains of a it means a bathroom, the toilet is half there. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I see. It looks like, ah, somebody was tearing apart the structure. The toilet's not half there. That right there is a toilet paper holder. And that went here. Anyway. I would love to get a tour of the insides, if only to uh, check out the architecture of such small little bungalows. There is a bungalow colony in West Brattleboro, Vermont, that I've been meaning to call and see if they'd be willing to do some interior tours. That is still in business. The main building over here where I'm assuming that uh, the owners lived and did business, is still, it looks to be in good condition, but I imagine they had the upkeep of this particular part of the property maintained while they were living here and let the rest of the property go to ruin. Well, Whatever happens, more research is needed. I did sneak a quick peek into the window here the other day, and there's, I could see a, a ladder, like, like it used to go on the roof, inside, and a whole bunch of uh, temporary construction. But this place hasn't been touched in years. And as you can see from the overgrowth of, uh, of the grass, there isn't any current maintenance plan on it. So, to be continued as we find out more about what's going on with the Swiss Motor Court. 